Well, folks, had a lot of people asking me for this, so I thought I would uh, show you how I use my camper a little bit. I'm in a very secret location, uh, one of my favorite fishing spots. And uh, as you can see down there, this is uh, there's my uh, famous catfishing pole down there on the bank, <sighs> next to my other lucky fishing pole on the right. And uh, here's my camper. And as you can see on my camper, I've got two tables that stick out on the side. I've had a few people ask me how these set up. Real simple, they just, uh, I actually have a video of me uh, fabricating this one or doing the upgrade for this one. And basically it's just something to hold my cooler. Uh, the cooler just holds your food. Nice cooler, holds all your food. Excuse the mess, this is the live-in looked. This is how you live in your camper. Uh, those sodas aren't mine. We've had actually had those sodas for about a, I think about two years. I don't know why we keep them. We don't really drink sodas. But we keep bringing them, thinking we're going to drink them. Got the American flag flying high. Uh, daughter sleeps down there. After we're finished, we make the bed. We just throw everything down there. My wife likes to keep her suitcase up there. I like to keep my duffel bag up there on top. And towels for uh, bathing and such. And then we each have our own uh, private area. Well, you know, like where we keep our uh, wallet, keys, stuff like that. And then my daughter has her little special toys. Uh, trailer levels out really easily, um, easily enough where uh, last night I wanted uh, full power so we actually stayed over there and uh, this morning we just threw everything in the camper and moved over here right quick um, back to a normal campsite which is about ten dollars cheaper and so it's, it's really not that much trouble at all you just your thing. Um, it's a beautiful place. Nice little butterfly. Um, hey, my beaming lights. Check this out, dude. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me see if I can. Uh, I put an automatic sensing light in my utility cabinet. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it'll automatically come on. It's really bright out here. But I don't know if you guys can see that, but the light comes on automatically and it lights up the whole utility cabinet, which is really cool. And it actually lights up the whole ground, which is really nice because you really need to be able to get in here and see what you're doing at night, especially when you show up to a campsite late at night. Really cool. Shuts off automatically when you're finished. Uh, that's my catfishing cutting board. And generally what I'll do is I'll pop my shoes off. I'll just chill out right here with the door wide open, read my book, and uh, watch my poles. So really cool. So y'all take it easy. I hope that kind of uh, explains how these pop pop out tables work. I mean you're not using the tables, they just pop right off and the cooler stores right here and the table stores on top of the cooler so basically the cooler goes there the table gets stored on top of the cooler this table folds up and stores right here and you can see the holes that it sticks into when you're driving so it basically it's like a Swiss Army knife, so when you get to where you're going, everything just kind of pops out. You take out your table, you pop it in here, you, t you, you take out your cooler, I mean you take, out your t you take off your table, you set up your table, you take out your cooler, 
you set it on top of your table you just connected and you're good to go you know when you're not using your stove you can use this area for what well we got our pot, pots and pans that we just cleaned and a little drying area that we use it for right now and that's about it we have no power or electricity on this site but we have uh, uh, power for th uh, for about three days running on the battery so that's about it y'all take it easy